Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to go ahead and install a LED light bar behind my grill, something I've been really wanting to do for a while now. Um, but this, this, this particular light bar is the Christ Cross Series 2 34 watt uh, ox beam RGB, so red, green, blue, with a controller, with, actual, with an actual remote. So I can change colors, I can strobe it, um, all kinds of pretty cool things. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the unboxing, sort of an install vid, but I'm not going to do the full detailed how to's. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And if this is a, a light bar that you guys really are considering buying from Oxbeam, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So stay tuned. And this is the 34-inch uh, Cross Series 2 Oxbeam um, red, green, blue uh, light bar. Obviously, it's going to come with your your uh, light bar. Also, um, a little new addition to what uh, Oxbeam's already got. Um, they have a wireless controller, so that's pretty fancy. So you can actually install this on your uh, put the app on. So watch my other video, my other light bar video on the Oxbeam RGB. But you can actually download an app for this because it is Bluetooth. But also, you have a remote control, so that's really neat. Um, it's going to come with the. Uh, Lens covers, you're going to have two of them. I'm actually going to have four of them, I'm sorry. Where you can actually concentrate a, concentrate a certain flood slash, uh, I would say, spot beam. So just depending on where you want to slide these on. So that's neat. You're going to have your Bluetooth uh, wireless um, connection right here. And the great, you know, really a really good thing that they designed here with this product is the simple fact that it's not your negative, not your traditional negative and positive um, connections like most cheap light bars. These ones right here, actually, it's all plug and play. Uh, and that's going to be very clean. It's going to be a lot easier on all of us when you're doing that. But uh, everything it has its, its own spot and its own place for it. So there's no wiring that you need to do as far as uh, crimping wires or whatnot. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, guys, so where am I going to go ahead and mount this thing? is uh right here what i did is i went ahead and drilled one hole and if you have a chevy silverado like mine you're gonna have this that same a-frame right there that holds up that uh hood latch and everything with it so i'm gonna go ahead and mount it right here on this base now there will be a wiring harness that's attached right here and i'm gonna use this existing hole which is right here so guys just zip tie this somewhere different you know no big deal so uh and i know i have another light bar here but i, I will be taking that off because once i mount this once I mount this light bar right here, this right here, the top of this bull bar might actually be in the, affecting the actual light. So, and this is only a little 20 inch one. Puts out a lot of light, but I don't really need it. So, there's my grill right there. And if you guys need to know how to take off the grill, it's actually pretty simple. It just unclips. There's no bolts or anything. Um, but you will have to take off that top shroud once you guys get into this project. This will be pretty simple, pretty easy. So, let's get started. So with the kit, they're going to have these little mounting brackets right here. And uh, just go ahead and drop your bolt through there. The great thing about this mounting bracket is the fact that it's actually like locked in there. So you don't have to hold a, you know, put a, another wrench on the other side of it. So it's already self-locked once you drop it in there. So that's really good. So all you got to do is actually tighten the nuts that come with the kit. So let me show you how to do this really fast. So you're going to have all these little nuts inside the slide piece. Of the, of the fins back here and the way this is going to work is once you've gotten that what you want to go ahead and do is just line it up to where the nuts are just drop your little bolts in there and screw it down okay guys so uh what i went ahead and did is i uh put a spacer right there and it's actually uh, an old chevy lug uh a lug nut so uh but yeah, basically, you know, a nut of some sort, a very large, I'd say about a half inch tall nut. And the reason why I did that is because once you put the grill back on, it actually raised it up a little bit higher so it's uh, parallel, it's perfectly straight in line, uh, going through the bottom fins right there. So, but it, it worked really well. So, I was able to screw it down or bolt or nut it down there and it's super tight. So, yeah. It, that fit perfectly a lot better than I thought so just uh, guys you can mount this right here on the bar 
and obviously that's a 34 inch so it's going to go pretty much right across okay guys so uh pretty impressed i went ahead i got everything mounted mounted inside of the uh behind the grill all the wires are tucked away nice and clean um i did not mount the switch yet but uh I just ran it through the cab for right now, but just to show you guys, this is 34 inches. It fits perfectly. Um, very, very sturdy too. But I was showing you guys that, uh, you know, a little platform down in there. It's kind of, well, I got the light on. Let me turn that off actually. But anyways, uh, you know that little platform that it sits on, see that where I have that little spacer? Yeah, let it focus here a little bit. Yeah, that little spacer right there. Um, just a nut, really, but raises it up just perfectly enough to where it fits. It fits level. It raises the actual light bar up. But I'm telling you, that little bar behind your grill, that 34-inch aux beam LED light fits perfectly. So if you guys decide to actually do something like this, I'm telling you, it's definitely worth it. So uh, it looks good. I think I'm really thinking about going ahead and just taking off my bull bar. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Should I take that bull bar off or just have two LED lights in the front? That might be kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Um, but yeah, hopefully this make this helps you uh, make a decision whether or not you guys want to do this. Go ahead and stay tuned for the night test. I'm going to go ahead and post a, a video up on that really quick. You know, I can easily switch everything on and off. And uh, here's all the different colors. So, pretty cool. I'm impressed. You got the little like uh, button where it kind of just changes different colors like that. I don't really care for that too much, but whatever. But uh, the white right here, you can actually turn this down. So it's not so bright. Just like that. In the video, it shows that it's flashing, but uh, it's not. It's just the way the video's showing up. But, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Turned out really well. And it's a little one. And it's a big one. Oh, that's super powerful. Very bright. Let me show you. Look at that. Ridiculous. Now oh, it's pretty cool looking though with it on at night. Kind of uh, um, kind of gives that glow behind the grill. That's pretty neat. So let's play with this here. Change the colors. That looks really cool at night. I wish you guys can see this in like person looks really neat but you get the idea um, let me show you here I don't know if you guys can tell but that's why they call it the cross series just like that you see and uh, it changes different colors and whatnot it looks super cool though really that's neat It does actually put out a little bit of light too, like in front of you. And actually, I uh, really like this color right here because it sort of matches the uh, marker lights. So overall uh, installation very simple it took me about 30 minutes to do and again make sure you scroll down to my description if this is something that you want to purchase from Oxbeam I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in there so you guys can click on that but uh, overall I'm pretty excited about it pretty pumped uh, if you have any questions comments um, just anything if it looks stupid uh, I mean I don't really care just let me know uh, but other than that I appreciate your time don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching